Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here, and I have a walkthrough of how to use iMovie. iMovie is an application you can get in the App Store. It is universal, so it works on the iPhone and the iPad, and it is $4.99. So now we are going to head into iMovie. Once in the iMovie application, you get this nice looking interface that looks similar to a movie theater. Now you can go ahead and hit the question mark in the lower left hand corner and this brings up a bunch of options that show you what these different icons represent and you can also hit the arrow next to each of the icons and that brings up more information on what they do. Now hit the plus and you can create a new project. This is where you will be creating your movie. On the upper left hand side you will see your videos. But in this case, I'm going to select the video icon and I'm going to record video right from the application. Now I double tap the screen so I get a widescreen view so that I can get more into the shot and then I go ahead and select the record button. Now whatever I record here, in the minute you will see that I can either accept, use this video, or I can retake it. Lower left hand corner I can select retake, but in this case I'm going to select use. Now it drops it right into this editing line. And from here if you want to modify the clip, you select it, then double tap, and now you get the clip settings. You can modify the volume of the clip, or you can go ahead and mute it. Now if you mute it, you'll get the mute icon in the upper left hand corner of the clip. And if you want to add any kind of text to your clip, go ahead and select Title Style. And you can go ahead and select between the opening, ending, or middle. Now once you add text to your clip, it's going to show up in the entire clip. Now there's a way you can change this. Now I'm going to change the change it to none and go to a certain distance now swipe down once you've selected it to split the clip now you can go ahead and add your title style and this will only play in this certain length of clip that you've created now go ahead and play now you can see that the title has been just selected on that short little clip now you can also change your transition settings just by selecting and double tapping on your transition from cross dissolve or a theme and your themes are in the upper left hand corner in this little cog and you can change your theme to whichever one you prefer and you can just see these different themes here. You can go through them yourself. I'm not going to go through them all. Let's go ahead and select one more. So these themes can kind of make your video look a lot better and you can change the length of the transition itself as well. Now I'm going to change the theme back to my favorite and you can also now you can drop videos in from your library here. Just select the video and then the arrow down and it drops it right into the timeline and you can play it. You can modify it just like you did with your other clip. And if by chance you want to drop a current video in the middle of your timeline, just swipe down once you've selected the clip to split the clip. And you can either record video again, or you can just go ahead and drop one of your current videos down into that position. Now that I've got my clips all set, and I want to record my voice, I can hit the microphone on the right hand side next to the video icon and just select record and you get this little nice countdown to let you know when to start speaking. Now the cool thing about this is you don't always have to use the built-in microphone on the iPad or iPhone. You can also use a USB microphone like this one so that you can get better audio quality in your videos. Now this is a blue snowball and they are not extremely cheap 
but they really do the job well. Once you've got a recording, you don't always have to just end with that one recording. You can also record over your current recording just in case there was any kind of uh, pause in there that you want to fill in. And it's just like any other recording that you did previously. And another cool thing is you can select it and you can move them around to any position in the clip that you prefer. Now let's say you want to add a photo into your clip. You can go ahead and select the second icon and this brings up your photos. And now you can go ahead and select a specific, specific photo that you would like to use. You can select it and you can change the scale size from the beginning of the photo and change the scale size of the end of the photo and that will bring a cool effect to your photo whenever you pre uh, view it in your video. Now in this case I prefer to zoom it out on the beginning and the end that way there's no kind of movement on my photo you just get a nice cool stagnant photo. Now those were all your options on creating a video. You can import video, import photos, and also do voiceover. Now select the option in the upper left hand corner to get out of the project and you can rename it from here. Once you've done that you can play your video back. You can either optimize the quality or not. It's going to play back the video either way. I'm going to go ahead and select no. You've got this share option. You can share to the camera roll. You can do medium 360p, 540p, 720p, or the largest 1080p. You can automatically upload to YouTube right from the application. You can upload to Facebook right from the application as well. Just have to sign up to each of these. To Vimeo, sign into Vimeo to upload there, as well as CNN iReport. And finally, iTunes. This just sends the project to iTunes. That way you can recover it later. Just copy to iTunes and there it is. I'm going to save this to my camera roll. I'm going to select the share button and select 1080p. Now I've sped this up considerably because this does take quite a while with the 1080p version. Now that it has been saved to my camera roll, I'm going to select the trash can in the lower right hand corner to delete the project as well as delete the copy that I added to iTunes as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you, I'm going to drop in this entire project that was just saved to the camera roll and play it. As you can see the, the playback and you'll see the transitions, the smooth transitions that we just created the title and just like all of your other clips you can modify this one as well. I'm going to create add a little title here you can add an opening middle ending you can do whatever you want just like you did previously when you created this video. Now let's say you made an error you can go ahead and select the undo button up next to the settings cog and it will fix your mistakes if you made any. If you want to add any of your music, you can select the music option here. You can add theme music as well as sound effects and music from your playlist. You can also delete video and or audio just by selecting it and dragging it up to your video area. And just like with your voiceover, you can manipulate and move your audio. Creating movies is not the only thing you can do in iMovie. You can also promote your movies by creating a movie trailer. Now this, you just hit the plus again and select new trailer. And it brings up a whole bunch of cool different themes. You've got the adrenaline theme, Bollywood theme, coming of age, Expedition, fairy tale, narrative, retro, 
romance, scary, superhero, swashbuckler, and teen. Now I'm going to select the scary option just to show you just a little portion of this uh, this trailer. You can select the name of the movie, the movie name, and the studio credits. Uh, you can manipulate the storyboard just by selecting the storyboard tab. And from here you plug in different sections of your videos and or photos to create your movie trailer. Now I'm just going to go ahead and quickly drop a few snippets of my video in here and then show you a preview of this this trailer. Go ahead, drop another one in here. Now I'm going to select play just to show you just a tad bit of this trailer. Now if you haven't seen my movie review, iMovie review trailer, I'll have a link to that in the description below. I had a whole bunch of fun with this and you can too. And I really hope you create some really cool movies with this iMovie application. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it really helps you out. If so, slam that like button down below and hit that subscribe button above. It is free. Go ahead and do that now. That way you'll see new videos like this in your subscription box. If you do decide to hit that subscribe button and join this Paul's iOS device community, I really appreciate your viewership and I promise to create the best videos that I can and answer as many questions as I can as well. And you can ask those questions on Twitter at Paul's iOS device or like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash UBR today. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.